and this is Sky. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm in the shop taking care of business. Thursday afternoon, mind, body, and soul. This is how we get through every single day. Let's just philosophize a little bit, talk about the importance of routine. It's important to do the same things every single day if you're trying to get towards a goal. Some people get bored, they don't like doing the same thing every day. You may not like success. Success can be boring, monotonous, because there's a lot of repetition. I see value in repetition. There's certain aspects of my morning program which I really value, and one of, that, one of those chores has turned into kind of a spiritual time of meditation. It's when I sweep up. I sweep up my motorcycle shop every morning. I've been in this building. I had this built for me. Oh gosh, I guess it was 2008, right when Obama got elected. I took some savings I had and built this building. Before that, we were renting a big giant warehouse a few miles down the road. Before that, I was working at a custom shop owned by this guy, Ed. It finally got taken over by his wife, Bridget. And it was called Custom Works. When I first started at Custom Works, I was the lowest guy on the ladder. I knew the least. I was the newest hire. And part of my job every single morning, every day, was to sweep up the shop. And this was more than 20 years ago. You could find me every morning down at Custom Works. You drive by, you see Sky out front sweeping the sidewalk, inside sweeping the showroom, out back sweeping the three different bays. They had three, three or four different, different bays. I sweep that entire place, every single inch of it, every day. I became proud of it. I uh, do a good job at whatever I'm doing. And even if I have to sweep the floor, I'm going to be the best damn floor sweeper that you've ever seen. I bet you Custom Works has never hired another person since I left 20-something years ago. Never hired another guy that swept the floor as good as me. <laughs> and it's not like I just get off on sweeping floors. Like I got a big erection for sweeping floors. And no, I'm not going to come to your house and sweep your fucking floor. It's not the point. Because I know that's a joke one of you wants to make. You can come sweep my floor. Yeah, fuck you. Sweep your own floor, idiot. Every single day when I show up to this shop, the last shop I had to, I've been self-employed with Sinister City Motorcycles now for 20 years. Maybe a little longer. Maybe 21 years. And every single morning when I show up to my business, every single morning, I do the job that the lowest guy on the ladder could do. We don't really have a lot of employees now. We had to downsize. It's just me and my brother. But there's been times when we had a whole crew, especially at our old shop. When I had this shop built, it's rather, I think, small comparatively to the old shop. The old shop was a giant warehouse the size of a damn grocery store. Maybe not that big, but it was big. <laughs> you put a whole bunch of cars in there. I'd sweep that whole damn floor, at least until someone bought me a blower. And I felt like using the blower was cheating. I like the thoroughness of sweeping it up, starting the day with a clean slate. Everything, every single day is started the same, with a clean slate. Anything left over from yesterday gets picked up, put in its place. We're starting off today new. This is just one of my many morning rituals. I have a whole mind, body, and soul program that I live, that I coach, that I promote on here in my videos. Sweeping the floor of the business that I own is only just one of those chores. And if I don't sweep the floor, I don't feel right. I sweep it even if it really doesn't need it. I sweep it if my neck hurts, if my shoulder hurts, if my back hurts. 
find yourself some rituals and make them a lifestyle. You'd be surprised what it does for you. Something simple, something as stupid as sweeping the floor. Something you hate so much for the last 25 years, I guess. I, it's, I found great value in it. Food for thought.